what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to take a look at a massive earth directed CME that occurred today August 24th 2021 that created a interplanetary shockwave that was detected by the Earth's ionosphere within seconds you can see the ionosphere D region reacting to the very large CME that's supposed to arrive sometime in the next 36 to 48 hours this is now the second CME that is earthbound also in this video I've received some new photos out of Middle Tennessee from Annette the Crow, who lives in Waverly, Tennessee. But first, here at the website, quick look at the Schumann resonance. For the most part, pretty quiet, except for the small spike that more than likely can be traced back to the sun. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see the activity starting to increase slowly but surely. And this is the ionosphere once again that did detect a shock wave created by the large CME. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, dark blue indicates magma intrusion. Once again, you can see uh, a little bit of activity on most of the seismos but nothing major a little bit of earthquake activity over here at parker peak but again nothing major at the super volcano caldera coming over here now to nullschool.net looking at the sahara sand situation as you guys can clearly see not improving and it won't improve anytime soon got a very large plume now extending from mexico all the way up to newfoundland florida is pretty much entirely engulfed in sahara sand right now as i do this video and there's more on the way coming over here now to venturesky.com you're looking at possible rainfall totals for this Friday, the end of this week in eastern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin, all the way over to east central Wisconsin. Be on the lookout for possible flash flooding as we go back to 9 a.m. on Friday. You can see the rainfall totals going anywhere from 2 to 3 inches of rain in this same area. By stepping ahead to 11 o'clock on Friday night, you can see the rainfall totals increase exponentially going from 2 to 3 inches all the way up to 7 in the high 8 inch range, possibly 9 inches this is a forecast it can and will change could be less could be more but either way look for potential flash flooding in this area on friday and that would be at the end of this week here's another area to watch too this is a little farther out we're looking at august 31st of 2021 pay attention to the areas here in burgundy as well you can see up here around austin 4.28 inches on august 31st of 2021 watch what happens when we go up to the next day september 1st of 2021 big difference 16.3 inch total on september 1st of 2021 compared to august 31st the day before of 4.2 inches so that's a foot in 24 hours this is a forecast it can and will change whether it goes up down remains the same i don't know because this is a long ways out it's seven days but there is a chance of large flooding in central and coastal texas by the end of this month from some sort of a tropical system that's moving in from the gulf of mexico speaking of flash flooding i received some new photos from annette the crow out of waverly tennessee that was right in the middle of the recent flooding in tennessee see that occurred on the 21st and that would have been last Friday into Saturday you can see a home here moved off of its foundation and you can see vehicles that were moved around and that said it looked like a large tornado went through the area opposed to flash flooding just an unbelievable scene in Waverly, Tennessee, which is in Middle Tennessee. You can see more flood damage here. She said this statue of Jesus somehow ended up on a sidewalk next to the road by that road barricade. Don't know how it got there. More photos of the flooding. You can see a, a large building over there that's got several feet of water up next to it. Another automobile here almost underneath a home unbelievable more flooding going under the bridge over there as the the river just completely went out of its banks here's a large big rig underneath a gas station awning that looks like the roof to the building of the gas station cars here down in the canal it looks like multiple cars piled on top of each other just an unbelievable scene more debris and various things carried through this area here that just shows you how strong the the floodwaters were and the floodwaters were so strong that it peeled up this road there were many layers to this road right here which is a main road that goes through waverly tennessee you can see the the layers here that were peeled up by the floodwaters that's how strong those floodwaters were that went through middle tennessee and here's some of the floodwaters as they were occurring on the 21st going right through the middle of town just an unbelievable scene historic flooding some parts of middle tennessee saw 17 inches of rain which set a new all-time record for rainfall in a 24-hour period of time 
Here's another video clip of people looking at the water as it's going right through the center of town, pretty much in a state of disbelief. Nobody was expecting this much rainfall. That's why I pointed out the possible rainfall totals up here in Wisconsin and Minnesota is because they were expecting the same amount of rain in Tennessee and ended up getting around 17 inches of rain. Now we're going to go up to the sun. Here's the active region that produced this very large CME that we're about to see here. The, the sunspot itself isn't that big, but it's been very active. And keep in mind, it's turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Here's a segment from the SDO, the Solar Dynamics Observatory. This orbits the sun with the Earth, and it caught this very large CME right here go off the surface of the sun, and it is Earth-directed. And here goes the CME right there. Very large. At first, I thought that was a, a Hyder flare. And here's a little video segment of the large CME that is Earth-directed. Shouldn't be a problem, but it could create a long-duration geomagnetic storm here in the coming days because this is number two of two that are Earth-bound. There's the large CME that created an interplanetary shockwave that was detected by the Earth almost instantly. And you can see a section of the sun right over here kind of opened up. And that's where that CME jumped off, just to the right of that sunspot. There's the sunspot right there, that very bright region. That was the Earth that you saw up there. And there you just saw the large CME. Here it is in slow motion. Pretty thick. That's a dense CME. So if that makes contact with the Earth, the proton density will spike through the roof. That little shadow you saw right there, that was the Earth. This satellite instrument orbits the Earth and it orbits the sun with the Earth. So every once in a while, you'll see the Earth come into the field of view. That's not the moon, that was the Earth. There's the CME in a different format. Light is dark, dark is light. Just trying to give you a perspective of the surface of the sun that opened up right there, just to the right of that sunspot. That's where the CME actually originated from, right there, watch. You'll see it come off the sun to the right of that sunspot. Pretty good size region that opened up. That was the Earth up there. There jumped the CME that is Earth directed. Here it is in just another format. Take a look at the surface of the sun right there. That was a thick CME, and it is earthbound. We'll probably be here in less than 48 hours as that was moving at a very high rate of speed. That did create an interplanetary shockwave. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.